hello everybody so we'll move on further in this class and in last class I had made this small program in front of you in which I basically started the selenium server I opened a Firefox browser navigated to quicker.com and typed some things E in the query box and selected the category ID then I start my server so I'll run this test again and I'll show it to you what happens and then we'll move further so if I run it as a test ng class so first a browser will open see the browser is opening and it will navigate to quicker.com e will be typed in this box where enter your search term has been named and it was quite fast right this was and it closed very fast because I had not set the speed so out here I will set the speed as selenium dot set speed command you can use and I can set the speed as 2000 Be this means that between each and every line there will be a delay of 2 seconds or 2000 milliseconds fine so basically what I am doing is I'm going to quicker.com typing E here and selecting something from this list now I want to test this whether E is being entered here and whether this list is okay or not using selenium right so first I'll take the example of this edit box E fine so before typing something in the edit box E I have to test whether it exists or not whether query edit box exists so this can be checked with the command called selenium dot is element present and you give the element name as query okay and I can use an assertion here okay assert true assert true and I'll give the message that mm, web edit not present and I'll put this here now I'll explain you the meaning of this this means that check whether this element is selenium dot is element if it returns true then it's fine otherwise the program will stop on this line and this error message will be thrown assert true means that the element next to this comma the second element second argument should be true right so it will assert whether the element named query is present or not if it is present then I will enter the value if it's not present then this error message will be thrown and the program will terminate then I'll enter the value right so after entering the value I have to verify whether the value suppose I'm entering the value as selenium test inside that query box so now I have to validate whether the value has entered or not then I, again I can use an assertion but a different one I can use assert equals and it's got expected value and the actual value so the ex expected value is this one and the command for actual value is I'll have to extract the value which I've entered in the edit box so for that I'll give, have to give the command selenium dot get value from the edit box named query so you can say that this is the name of the box edit box right so what I've done first I've tested whether the edit, edit box exists or not if it exists then I've put an assertion over here uh, if it exists then, then I have put a entered the value and after entering the value I have checked whether the value has gone inside the box or not right so I'll run this program and I'll run it in a debug mode put a breakpoint here and I'll debug it so the control stops here I press F6 the selenium server started the speed is set to 2000 okay some exception is coming okay 
this has to be done after my setup method or the open method fine okay i'll execute it again the control stops here and start my server call the setup method now as soon as i call my setup method the browser will open up but it will never navigate to the website quicker.com as soon as i press f6 the open command is the actual command which is responsible for navigating to quicker.com now i am setting speed of selenium to 2000 because selenium is quite fast okay and after that i am asserting true i'm checking whether this edit box out here is present or not and if i run it the control comes on to the next line that means the assertion has passed got result okay true on session see now i'm typing selenium test into it i press f6 and selenium test gets written into this edit box and i then text whether the the value selenium test is actually present in the text box or not again press f6 and it passes fine see now we press f8 and let it run normally okay now what about the select box okay so select box i also have to execute all the three lines for the select box so first i'll have to check whether the select box is present or not select box exists now how will i do it through an assertion again assert true selenium dot is element present category id category id is the name of the select box if it is present then i will select the label in selenium it is the label we call it label so what i say is selenium dot select category id and select the label ahmedabad from it okay after that i have to check whether ahmedabad is the selected one or not right so validate the label now or validate the selected label so i do it through assert equals ahmedabad with selenium dot get selected label is the function and you pass the select name so this will this command will actually get the selected label and it will compare whether ahmedabad and this label both of them are equal or not so if both of them are equal the test will pass fine so i will just run it as a normal test and i'll show it to you see first quicker.com will open first it will validate this text box it will and then it'll, it is entered selenium test and it has validated that everything now it will select ahmedabad from it and it will validate whether ahmedabad is present or not fine and the program has ended okay so if i refresh my project a results folder is generated and if i go to the test ng results and i go to default suit and see the results everything has passed right now what if i fail it deliberately what i'll do is i'll enter selenium test and i'll actually compare it with selenium test 1 in this case the program will just fail on this line it will never execute this line okay and i will run this test as a normal test ng test so it will enter selenium test in the text box but it will compare the entered value with selenium test 1 and that's why the assertion will fail and see everything stopped and there was a failure it was reported and if i move up and it says that selenium test 1 expected selenium test 1 but saw selenium test instead if i refresh my project 
and I go to index.html see the reports it's got saying failed and in the reports it's saying the assertion error is thrown so the assertion will stop the program 